What's up, guys? It's gonna be a, a kind of PvP rogue tutorial where I'll be actually explaining things in real time instead of theory crafting. So this will be quite good to show how rogue is in Mist of Pandaria, and you can see its clear downfalls or how the rogue class is underrepresented in every aspect of PvP. <sighs> So many rogues that are actually in the one rogue in this battleground. So well, Pharaohs are just better rogues anyway. Since it started, I'm using deadly and I'll take poison just for pure DPS until they buff wooden poison with 5.1. That gets up 33% damage, so that'll be quite good. But normally you just abuse warriors and BM hammers for their mortal strike. Abilities. All right. Oh, got his string cap. That's me shadow dancing. Oh, rogues need buffs. Trinketed, absolutely nothing. A good thing to do against mages to get them to shadow step or whatever. Can't see them. I'm first. Go split one match. We can't get heals. Vanish. Be better off just leaving. You could probably sap him out of this. Now he's in combat. He's getting heals. This thing for healers. Put them on your focus target, which appears up in my top left. You can focus on other targets and it disappears when they're dead, so you know they're dead. My favourite part of this kind of battleground is the crazy crits that you get on the, the orb carriers. They're so ridiculous. They just pop Bart skin and just go to town. Dismantle all BM panels. But he determines trying to do this. It's absolutely pathetic. <laughs> Dead. Blind the hunter. Ugh, never mind. Okay. It's salty as well, the main thing. Is to remember to pop your premeditation to get the extra two combo points. So you can put Rico part, you can put slice and dice up, it's all pretty relative. Get the healer out of the way. so fast as well. Just wishing I'd have two double small bombs. Just keep looking at the focus target. Up to the left. To intercept heals. Yeah, I drink his time. Silent shot as well. <laughs> Scout shot. Okay, I got an SPM car. Just to do the most damage. Wait for the energy regen they got, that's me at 90. Cheap shot. Ah, oh, my chunk's up. Ah, oh, dead. I died to faint. That's another problem with those. <laughs> this talent, which is all damage by 30%, and you still die through it. Obviously, shouldn't be the be all and end all, but with combat readiness and a two minute kill now, it's not exactly great. Yeah, this is a feral, with a shadow dancer or anything, so this is just absolutely retarded going for this guy, isn't it? But oh, fuck it. Just pop bark skin. The range on fairy fire is ridiculous. Shot. Kidney. He's trinketed. <laughs> oh, vanished. He hasn't popped Fairy Fire again. Go for Cyclone now. Christ. It's just tunnel vision. Ugh. There you go. Challenger. <laughs> Shadow dance up either. 
as something they can automa automatically. Feldras especially can just pop bar scan one button that they can use while stunned. See we had combat readiness, they went up to 50% or 40% damage reduction through stuns or whatever. And didn't take time to build, that'd be great. But we can. Feldras get that plus bare form survivability. Fairy Fire, which puts rogues out of stealth for 30 seconds, which seems like forever, so you need to pop Claws even. And that's maybe your defensive ability, which is not too many cooldown. Ugh. Kind of been at the fight a wee bit. I can see when kill this hunter. <laughs> Blind his pet. <laughs> Wow! So pretty much, I think we're winning. There's the orbs in the middle. Sap him, sap him! Oh god. He takes more damage. Yeah, man, I was confused. <laughs> Shit. Where the fuck did Druid go? Right. I don't know, did he die? I know I'm going to be doing a tutorial, but I'm not sure about his silence. The best way to open on mages that I've found is if they don't even have, if they've used blink already, meaning they've got no way to get away, even a cheap shot or a silence, but if you want to get them for the full duration. Right, so this guy's in hex now. Got it. And a kidney shot. No. Meaning that you don't need to face DR. So if they're silenced anyway, they have no way to get out of or use any abilities anyway, so there's no point actually using cheap shot against casters normally. And unless you don't want them to move obviously. So maybe cheap shot when they're like behind pillars or like this if he's And the good thing about paralytic poison is the snare. Another way. Rogues do have a lot of utility. But it's just a survivability. They get tunneled down too much and they're just out of options. Like the amount of times you die and you're just sitting like, I've got no cooldowns, no nothing. It's just ridiculous. First elf. Just, I know he's got no health anyway. Got a Shadow Priest to help me, Lion Hands. Get the Shadow Priest, tricks of the trades. But they're already getting just damage, so it's kind of ridiculous. So I think it's better just to spam eviscerate over stunning and everything. That seems to be the main damage output that we get. So he's rooted on the spot of Paralytic Poison. It makes them both cooldowns as well. And look, Paralytic Poison stun. Ugh, this guy hits like a truck. The good thing about Paralytic Poison after four, yep, four stacks, it stuns them for. Stun some for 4 or 5 seconds, I think it's 5 seconds, and that doesn't share DR with Kidney Shot, so you pretty much get a very long stun. Right, silence this. Paladin. Watch for the Garrett to wear off. Kidney Shot. Full Kidney Shot. Dead. You can always use tricks of the trade, the range on it's ridiculous. Lots of people want him. Trinketed. Feral Druids. Ugh. Challenger Feral Druids. Ugh. Nah. Pretty much. This is how I see PvP right now. It's definitely not. It's definitely not a 1v1 game, but people see the game that way naturally. If you can't be a class, then you see what's wrong with your class and how. So basically, with cooldowns, Rogue is pretty strong. Like, he's used his health regen thing, he's been hexed. Go on the Hunter. Kick that. Go ahead and focus on it. Right, okay, he's just Deterrence. After Deterrence, we can get on him. One, two, three. Yeah, that's him, I'm done. Dead. Give a trick to trade to him. Right, we've got the lock here. This 
guy's killing everybody. I've got close anyway defensively. Shadow Fury, yeah. Nah, I won't die anyway. Can I get a restyle? Nah, I'll get a pet on me. Just go AFK and let their pet fight. I'm a tad better. But, nah. Sometimes it's just best. Let's see how the fight goes. It's not done too bad. Like, rogue damage isn't amazing. In terms of damage, I'm. Nowhere near the lock. <laughs> Alright, we won. That's pretty much the first kind of tutorial of how I play Rogue. Um, I'm not the greatest, I could do a lot better, but that's just the foundations. If anyone wants to like, find out about my keybinds or any other kind of scenarios like 2vs2, 7 comps, let me know. Subscribe. Thanks very much.